Need a family SUV with seven seats? Bored by what's on offer? Say at Hopes, you'll like its offering, the Turaco. You get Volkswagen Group engineering, sharp styling, plenty of interior space, and the Iberian maker Hopes, a dash of Spanish flair, which this car will need to stand out in its segment. Seat has decided that this Turaco should be set up fractionally firmer and ride 20 millimeters lower than its Skoda, Kodiak and Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace production stablemates. As a result, it feels slightly more agile through the bends than a large high set family car like this normally would. And occasionally it gets a little more upset over poorer surfaces than an SUV of this kind might usually do. It's all a bit predictable really, and neither issue is likely to be a game changer towards wanting or discarding this contender from your wish list. Uh, there's no particular fun to be had in throwing this car around, but if you ever do, you'll find that it resists body roll effectively and should keep the sick bags at bay in the back until you reach uh, the kind of highway environment where this Seat can show off its refined cruising demeanor. Engine-wise, most Turaco buyers will be choosing between a pair of 150 PS turbo units, either a 1.5-litre TSI Evo petrol power plant or the 2-litre TDI-based diesel variant that we're trying here. You'll need the diesel if you want the option of a package that gives you DSG automatic transmission and Seat's four-drive, four-wheel drive system. Uh, we've done without that on this car, and so unencumbered, this Turaco manages a WLTP-rated combined cycle fuel reading of up to 47.9 mpg and an NEDC-rated CO2 emission showing of 129 grams per kilometer. A few customers might also want to consider the two more powerful engine options that Seat offers in the mainstream lineup. Uh, there's a gutsier 190 PS version of this 2 litre diesel, or if you prefer, a 2 litre TSI petrol power plant, also putting out 190 PS actually. Uh, both of these have to be had with the DSG 4 drive package that gives this car extra traction in slippery conditions like snow, and some limited off road prowess on surfaces like sand or maybe muddy car parks or lighter field tracks. At the wheel, clever design makes the car feel like it's going to be easy to manoeuvre and you'll be immediately struck by the screen technology on offer. Through the wheel, you glimpse this 10.2 inch digital cockpit screen which offers lots of configurable options ranging from virtual dials through to full width navigation mapping with almost endless data display options in between. All of it's standard as is this 8 inch center dash monitor which deals with the usual informational telephone navigation and entertainment options plus there's voice control and say it's incorporated full link connectivity which allows you to connect in your smartphone via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. In short, very little has been forgotten, which makes up for the fact that despite all the technology, it doesn't feel especially upmarket in here unless you've stumped up for a particularly ritzy trim level. We've also found this to be a very family-friendly cabin, the air-conditioned glove box, the adjustable cup holders, the connectivity points, um, pretty much everything that you'd want, really. Enough on what it's like in the front of this Turaco, let's check out the rear, and that's accessed through these wide opening doors. Uh, this second row bench features all the versatility you'd want from this kind of seven-seat SUV, so the backrest reclines for greater comfort on longer journeys, and the 60-40 split seat base slides back and forth too. So, uh, what's it going to be like in the third row? Now, back here, you're quickly reminded that this is an SUV, not an MPV. If you regularly carried seven passengers and you'd swapped into one of these after owning a Seat Alhambra people carrier, you certainly wouldn't be happy, and it's immediately obvious why. Overall, though, the space back here isn't really any more restricted than it would be in any other mid-sized SUV of this kind. And uncomplaining adults joining you for short journeys will probably be quite glad of it. Some cars set out to be different. This isn't one of them. It couldn't be really. So closely has it been based on its Skoda and Volkswagen Group cousins. Seat has instead been content to add just a dash of extra Iberian flavour to an achingly competent existing recipe. So the Turaco looks a bit sportier, thanks in part to a lower ride height, which means it drives slightly more engagingly too. It doesn't really offer anything very different to what's already on the market, but it's an engaging alternative that in many ways is difficult to fault. Will that be enough to establish Seat in this segment? 
it'll be interesting to see.